side off the road and his car flipped. I'm so sorry. Is he okay? The doctor says he'll need surgery. We need help. Can you come to the hospital? Absolutely. We're on our way right now. The Law Brothers made sure my dad's surgery was paid for, and they got him $1.25 million. If you or a loved one have been hurt, we'll be by your side every step of the way. Call us. We're the Law Brothers. Call 310-777-7777 or visit lawbrothers.com. Now a noon, a suspect has been arrested more than a week after the death of a Jewish protester in Thousand Oaks. Thanks for joining us for the KTLA 5 News at Noon. I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Lou Parker. 69-year-old Paul Kessler died after authorities say he was knocked to the ground during dueling rallies. Now a suspect is in custody. KTLA 5's Kareen Winter live in Thousand Oaks with the latest developments. Kareen? Glenn and Lou, we were at the suspect's home in Moore Park earlier this morning. We tried, but family members, they did not want to comment on his arrest. And right now, we're near the intersection, the location where that violent confrontation occurred. Uh, Paul Kessler, he was just 69 years old. He died following a clash with a pro-Palestinian demonstrator who also attended that rally here in Ventura County. This was back on November 5th, and Kessler, he was holding an Israeli flag and speaking out on the war. Pro-Palestinian demonstrators, they were also voicing their concerns. Now, according to officials, Kessler got into a dispute with the suspect. Here's a closer look at that person, this man. These are his uh, some photos and also video from the scene that day of 50-year-old Loay Abdel Fattah al-Naji. He's wearing a white shirt and khaki pants. Now, during that heated confrontation, authorities say Kessler was knocked to the ground and later died at a hospital. Alanji lives in Moore Park. He was booked for involuntary manslaughter. Bail set at one million. He was not booked, however, for a hate crime. But the DA's office says that right now it's reviewing the case and will make a charging decision later today. We received this reaction earlier today on the arrest. The gentleman wasn't doing anything wrong. He was voicing his opinion just like they were voicing their opinion. It didn't have to happen, basically. And we received a statement from the Jewish Federation of Greater L.A. today, and it read in part, We are grateful for the swift work of the Ventura County Sheriff's Department in response to the tragic death of Mr. Paul Kessler. This arrest shows that violence towards our Jewish community will not be tolerated. That's the very latest here in Thousand Oaks. Kareen Winter, KTLA 5 News. We'll send it back to you in the studio. Thank you, Kareen. Crews continue to make quick progress and to clear away the hazardous material left from the massive fire that shut down a portion of the 10 freeway. And Governor Gavin Newsom says despite the wet weather, Caltrans is ahead of schedule. KTLA 5 Sarah Welch live in downtown L.A. with the latest developments. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Lou and Glenn. Good afternoon. They are, and it's been nonstop teamwork down here. You can see behind me some of the work that's going on here right now here under the bridge. You can see if we pan up, you can see the fire line. That's where fire department was able to stop the fire from spreading any further. You can see the black soot on the 10, and then you can see where the concrete is. Now, the work here continues. Let's show you some of the uh, traffic, though, some of the problems that communities are facing, commuters coping with delays through downtown. This is a shot of uh, long Alameda near 14th here in downtown LA. Uh, they're working to cope with the congestion down here as city leaders work to address and alleviate the traffic problems that are happening through this area. Every person who chooses to not drive can make all the difference in keeping our city moving. And those were some of the comments this morning at the daily traffic briefing. The mayor's team, again, encouraging people to use metro public transit to lessen traffic on the road while these repairs are underway. We've learned that Caltrans has been able to clear all the hazardous materials under the scorched overpass, all that debris, all the cars, all the wood pallets that burn left behind from the massive fire over the weekend that shut down the 10 here in both directions. Now, the city continues to tweak traffic patterns to keep things moving as best as possible. 
people. There are uh, officers down here, traffic officers helping to keep traffic moving. Yesterday, Mayor Karen Bass, she surveyed the morning commute via helicopter. She's directed the DOT to make sure that commuter express lanes are free into downtown L.A. for now. DOT commuter express is free, as is Dash. The mayor also, we're told... Uh,